Uh, my assessment is of the dashboard, who is this who? The intent of the dashboard is present assist by player for a season, game, percentage of field goals from an assist, assist partners, and type of field goals the assists attributed to, in what period, as well as how the team performed for the season overall, and with assists. The audience for this visualisation could be a basketball fan or it could be a member or members of coaching staff trying to increase their assists or shut down their opponent's assists. This visualisation is populated by the data of season 2018-2019. As the visualisation becomes older, the more historic and less relevant to the current roster, the visualisation becomes as players leave. Although I'm sure there is an appropriate API, uh, from one of the two statistics sites on the visualisation, it could be easily updated. A basic knowledge of statistics is assumed. Only an understanding of column charts, scatter plots, and percentages is required. A high knowledge level of basketball terminology is required and is not provided by the visualisation itself. The coding for this visualisation is black with gold, orange, emphasising higher values. The flow of the dashboard interactivity is done well. It mostly follows a zigzag principle with the main interactive element, the team filter, which is filter one in the elements guide, being toggled by a toggle one in the top left. The team filter affects each of the five, five visualizations in the dashboard. I won't discuss the language toggle, toggle two, as I cannot review its effectiveness to the dashboard. The help toggle, toggle three, is very lacking. As I discussed in the assumptions, the knowledge of basketball terminology required is high for this dashboard and the help toggle does not assist with this. As I stated before, the team filter affects the five visualizations, visualization, so I'll now describe how. Visualization one delivers the intent of presenting how well the team performed for the season overall and with assists. The data around the team's logo is a top-down encoded summary from a search performed by the team filter and shows exactly how well the team performed in the regular season. The scatter plot shows that the teams with higher assists per game generally have higher points. As can be seen by the team rankings, this is a winning combination. As well as the points providing a tooltip to accurately display the assists and points per game, they also act as a team filter when they are clicked. Visualization 2 delivers the intent of presenting the number of assists a player has per game. When a team is selected, the scatter plot is populated with every player in the league who played more than 20 games. The Gestalt principle of similarity is used to distinguish the team with gold markers and the player highlighted for visualization, visualization 3, 4 and 5 is a player with a higher number of assists. Sorry, a higher number of assists per 48 minutes and has a star marker. The scatter plot the scatter points are filters. The user can click a point to change the highlighted player in visualization four and five. There seems to be an error here. When choosing a player via the scatter plot, the star marker gets past the player's point, but the rest of the team's points go from orange to white. Visualization three delivers the intent of presenting the percentage of field goals that come from an assist. Besides this, visualization three is the same as visualization two. Uh, besides the tooltips, which help tell the story of the visualization with an explanation and calculated fields. Visualizations 1, 2, and 3 are scatter plots that use the stealth principles of proximity, similarity, and enclosure. They are top down encoded based on a search from the team's filter. None of the visualizations have annotations. The chart options filter, uh, filter 2, provides a means to configure data for visualizations 2 and 3. When the checkbox to give all the players clickable points and tooltips, it becomes a mess. All the new clickable points are without borders, making the visualize, visualization very difficult to use as intended. Visualization 4 is a variation of a bar chart and loosely uses the just out principle of connectedness. The visualization delivers the intent of presenting the assisted partners. The visualization is top down, encoded, populated by the the search on a team and the default or chosen team player. The visualization shows who the player assisted and who the player got an assist from. Users can click on a player to make that player selected for visualization two, three, and four. The tool tips show the number of assists the chosen player is involved with another player and the calculated percentage of the total. 
I wrongly said that was a bar chart at the start of this. It's actually a bubble chart. Visualization 5 is a pair of column charts and diagrams. The intent of the visualization is to display what type of field goal the assist provided and in what period. The column chart uses the Stolt principle of proximity. The visualization is top down encoded, populated by the search on a team, and the default or chosen team player broken into periods. Although the diagrams and column charts are clickable, there is no effect and no tooltips. The use of annotations for this visualization is very effective. The decluttering of this visualization compared to visualization 1, 2, and 3 is very effective. As a sports fan, I can see what the dashboard is trying to deliver, but it needs to be refined and rethought. Sports is usually vibrant with colour, this dashboard is not. On the whole, the dashboard on the whole dashboard I will reverse the black and white. For filter one, I would remove the mini visualization from visualization one and replace the NBA logo with the selected teams and their statistics. To ensure users still know it is the NBA, the subtitle 2018 to 19 regular season could be replaced by NBA 2018 to 19 regular season. The show help toggle, toggle three, needs a glossary at least, and it also needs to explain what qualifies a player as a star player when a team is chosen. I'm quite knowledgeable at all things sport, and I had to Google to find out what FG means, that FG means field goal, and then assist per 48 minutes is a statistic commonly used to equalise the statistic to a theoretical full game level. For visual one, again, I will relocate the mini visual, visualisation. What happens if a team has 106 points per game and 29 assists? I would also remove the grid lines and the arrow pointing to the chosen team. The orange dot is enough. The arrow is problematic when it is over another dot. It makes the covered dot unusable. For visualisation 2 and 3, I would remove the grid lines and the grey bar in the background. If the other teams are unclickable because of the checkbox in, in the charts options, I would also remove their points from the two visualisations. I would fix the area where the chosen team's dots turn white when a different player is chosen in the visualisation. For all three scatter pop visualizations, I would send the trials to above the visualizations. If the black and white was reversed, I would use black for the grey dots, green for the chosen team and, and player, and blue for the player's team dots. Visualization four is efficient. I would only change the color scheme if the dashboard was black and white was reversed. The look of visualization five is efficient, but the interactive does not work how it should. Selecting a column should change the diagram to reflect just that quarter. Although the data is likely not available, a heat map overlay of the diagram for where shots were taken from would be great. That concludes my review.